जस्टिस कैनेडी डिक्लेयर दैट गे कपल्स हैव अ राइट टू मैरी करेक्ट मनोज नाउ वी आर इंटेंसली अवेयर ऑफ दैट वी आर इंटेंसली अवेयर ऑफ दैट आई एम सपोज सम वन गोज टू अ प्रिस्ट फॉर परफॉर्मिंग अ पर्टिकुलर रिचुअल एंड प्रिस्ट सेज दैट एज पर माय रिलीजन इट इज ओनली द हस्बैंड एंड वाइफ हु कैन सिट a man and a woman who can sit in performance of that ritual i will not be a party to it but i am posing a question to myself would he not be guilty of contempt of your lordship's declaration lord during yesterday's dialogue my lord it was it felt that there is a possibility of a declaration being made something less than marriage but something more than the present status lord having examined that my lord why my lord that may not be a correct course of action my lord Lord, your lordship's declaration would be a law within the meaning of Article One Forty One, binding all, not just all courts, binding the whole nation. The difficulty would be this, Lord. Any declaration of law would bind every individual in the country who is not before your lordships. In case of a law, every individual is represented by his chosen representative. that is the first issue well, your lordships are aware about the judgment in that baker's case where my lord one baker refused to bake a cake in a same sex marriage and my lord he was prosecuted etc similar thing happened my lord after the judgment of the american supreme court my lord 5 versus 4 one pastor refused to perform the ceremony of marriage and he was sought to be prosecuted and they have to come out with a law what is called my lord the pester protection act now examine my lord the situation where your lordship declares the law your lordships would obviously not be declaring the contours of the declaration the regulatory powers what will be the regulation who will be bound who will not be bound suppose someone goes to a priest for performing a particular ritual and priest says that as per my religion it is only the husband and wife who can sit a man and a woman who can sit in performance of that ritual i will not be a party to it so i am posing a question to myself would he not be guilty of contempt of your lordship's declaration see that's a matter of that priest's fundamental right to lord, follow his conscience and faith lord where that conscience stops see, and where his duty where, ends or where, begins so that's where solicitor what is the kind of form content and contours of the declaration is important correct we are all presuming yes sir that the declaration will be in the form of a writ that grant this or grant that this is what we are accustomed to what i was hinting was as a constitutional court we recognize only a state of affairs and draw the limit to there and say i am grateful my lord my worry was this whenever my lord a declaration is made either by legislature or by the court legislature has the wherewithal to regulate the fallout your lordship would not be able to first of all foresee envisage comprehend and thereafter deal with the fallout of that declaration fallout can be manifold in various facets of life in you various you know the saying that any declaration of this court will really in that sense Yeah. apply to everyone individual in the nation and pm the legislature from considering no no matter i am slightly on a different point it may not even preempt the legislature legislature can still do something but that would be my lord and for that my lord i would my lord one paragraph i am tempted to read from my lord uh, this uh, obersfell judgment my lord we, that's okay we'll be uh, only one para my lord for my satisfaction Just tell us the para number that's all no, so i i i would wish my lord your lordship read that. it's it won't take more than 2 minutes it 2463 2463 volume 4 of the petitioners compilation for my satisfaction please have a look and this angle my lord is missed by all of us and we also my lord feel that there would be some disservice as chief justice roberts points out Lord, to the petitioners, and therefore, Lord, I wish to read it. Lord, kindly have a look at two four six three. I'll just read. Lord. When decisions are reached through de democratic means, some people will inevitably be disappointed with the result. But those whose views do not prevail at least know that they had their say, and accordingly are, in the tradition of our political culture, reconciled to the result of a fair and honest debate. 
In addition, they can gear up to raise the issue later, hoping to persuade enough on the winning side to think again. That is exactly how our system of governance is supposed to be. But today, the court puts a stop to all that. This is what, in my submission, the declaration would mean. But today, the court puts a stop to all that. By deciding this question under the constitution, the so, court removes it. It's very important that you read that. What is put out there is, yes. the Chief Justice is uh, highlighting that the declaration that they have a right to marry. What was that? Justice Kennedy declared that gay couples have a right to marry. Correct, Malut. Now, we are intensely aware of that. We are intensely aware of that. I am grateful, Malut. Kindly, Malut, something further, which is on a slightly different point. Therefore, I would like to read it fully, Malut. There will be consequences to shutting down the political process on an issue of such profound public significance. Closing debate tends to close minds. People denied a voice are less likely to accept the ruling of a court on an issue that does not seem to be the sort of thing courts usually decide. As a thoughtful commentator observed about another issue, the political process was moving not swiftly enough for advocates of quick, complete change, but majoritarian institutions were listening to and acting. Kindly avoid Malod, the citation part. This is crucial and this is another dimension which Chief Justice Robert gives. Malod. Indeed, however, please note this. Indeed, however, heartened the proponents of same-sex marriage might be on this day, it is worth acknowledging what they have lost. From their point of view, the court says, Indeed, however, heartened the proponents of same-sex marriage might be on this day, it is worth acknowledging that they have lost and lost forever. The opportunity to win the true acceptance that comes from persuading their fellow citizens of the justice of their cause. And they lose this just when the winds of change were freshening at their backs. Thank you, Mr. Sivasana. Well, only last, well, it's my duty, well, therefore I'm pointing out. Well, at the outset, I said that we have written letters to the state governments. Well, there are seven responses, I'm not reading them, from Manipur, Andhra Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Assam, Sikkim and Rajasthan. I'm placing them on record. Rajasthan takes the position that we have examined it and we are op opposed to the position Lord, which the petitioners are taking. All rest say that this needs a very intense and expansive debate and we would not be able to respond immediately. Lord, we have received this. I will file it on in the, in the registry with copies to the other side. Lord. So, Lord, these are my uh, closing submissions, but I am just putting it on record, my lord. Uh, I'm not reading them. They're one and a half page closing submissions, but I'll place it on record. Yes, Dr. Singhvi.